Take it from here, Henry. Don't worry, Sarah. Kellerman? I'll give you two B. Let me know if you need anything, sir. Mm -hmm. Sorry, how did I end up with you again? You asked for the State Department's so. help. I wanted the State Department, not you. Yeah, you've lived so many lives, I don't know who you are. Well, that'd be a consistent theme for you, wouldn't it, given that you were married to a man who never existed? What is that supposed to mean? It means you should come in and let me enlighten you to all things Michael Schofield, or should I say Kangal Audis? You shouldn't drink bottled water, the dioxins, the BPAs in there. I'm touched by your concern. Have a seat. Good, thank you. You know, Sarah, <clears throat> you and I have a checkered past, but I am ever more a boring guy now. I am mellowed by life, trust me. If you have something you want to tell me about Michael, I'd sure love to hear it. Okay. When your call came in and Kashida processed it, let's just say there are certain keywords that get our system buzzing pretty quickly. Can you out us? It... I actually can't stand it watching you drink out of that. Hey, Kashida. Could you bring Sarah a glass for her water, please? Thank you. Kenyal Audis. It's a known terrorist, ties to ISIL, wanted in the killing of a senior CIA official. Michael's no killer. You see, that's the problem. Because Kenyal Audis is. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is Kenyal Audis. It's ridiculous. The record here at State says that. That's Kenyal Audis's face. Okay, but you and I both know who Michael Schofield was. No, that's just a memory. The official record, history, it says otherwise now. Now that's scary to think who could be behind that. Because only somebody very formidable would be capable of officially turning one man into another. It would take a genius like Michael. You're insinuating that he did this? He disappeared? Just quit on his life? I want answers just like you do. Who's capable of this? Only a handful of people in the world. Sarah? Sarah! <laughs>